What if I told you that you could solve a Rubik's Cube with 20 moves or less? No, not with some insanely lucky scramble, but in fact any of the 43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 1 trillion, and the number goes on and on. But basically, out of all the combinations out there, they can all be solved in under 20 moves. But why is that? What's so special about 20? Well, that number, 20, is God's number. Which was a number first thought of in the 80s and people thought, what is the lowest amount of moves to solve a Rubik's Cube? But that is way too complicated of a question. So they started by eliminating numbers. Basically stuff like, oh, it's gotta be more than two because you can't solve it in two moves. And it's gotta be less than, I don't know, 60 because of this complicated formula that took 10 years to do. It was like a lot more complicated than that, but in the 90s, they knew that God's number had to be less than 30 and more than 17. And not much progress was made for a couple of decades until 2010 when they decided to run through every single Rubik's Cube solve, all 43 quintillion possible scrambles to find the final answer. And renting Google supercomputers, a few weeks later, they had an actual answer. Finally, after decades and decades of researching it, they found out that the Rubik's Cube can be solved in 20 moves or less. Every single scramble, which keep in mind, is more than the amount of sand on earth can be solved in just less than 20